What's up guys, KCRC Rock Bouncer here. Uh, gonna make a quick video. Let's see. <clears throat> These right here are eBay Vanquish wheels. As are these. As are these. As are these ones that are on my bouncer. As are these ones. And I got another pair of these in red on my son's crawler and the only vanquish wheel I have is these what are they three tens love them um, I guess the point of this video people knock on these because oh you're you're buying Chinese shit and blah 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 what the fuck ever dude we're all consumers the machine that makes vanquish products the ripper machine was made in China so American-made products being made with Chinese machines. Don't be fucking hypocrites, people. Get over it. When I can get a set of these wheels for $44 with hubs and all the hardware, Vanquish wheels pay $153 for just the wheels with no hubs. Amazing wheels. Look great. They were the first one, and they did get copied. But, you know, that's just kind of the way of the world. Anyways... Getting uh, a little political here, which was not the point of this. The point of this video was to just show people how well they work, how quickly they come apart, how quickly they go back together. The hardware is quality. It is uh, the difference between the Vanquish wheels is obviously the licensing and the logo that they're able that they put on their wheels, but then the threads on the uh, ebay wheels are fine thread and which means a little more turning to tighten them and the vanquish wheels are coarse thread so they screw together quickly i'm taking my uh proline super swampers off on the predator compound um, amazing tire honestly i'm taking them off because they're almost a little too good and i don't want to make it up everything all the time plus i use these for uh i'm gonna use these mostly for the competition this year i'll save them and have fun with my other tires that i have so put the ring in as you just saw i always drop the front face on first the boggers uh have such a hard bead you have to kind of pull them out so the wheel will go in sometimes put the back ring in line it up I'll set this down right here. So I'll put yes. one piece of hardware in there. Well, it's so. Find one to get started. I'll start it's that one, just a couple threads. And then I'm going to put another one in. Pinch the wheel a little bit to bring the threads together. Put the screw in just a few threads. Do that with the third. Do that with the fourth and fifth. Drop that in. Now granted, these are some of the easiest wheels to mount. And I'm only running single stage foams in these tires right now. So with the dual stage, it's a little more difficult. Make sure you, if you're using electric drill, turn that chuck down. Or that clutch. I'm gonna tighten the star pattern, not running them all the way in, just kind of getting them in a little bit. So that one's all the way in, so I'm gonna finish the rest. Boom. That's it, guys. Both the beads are in. You know what I'll do? Just to show that you can do it on a softer tire, too. Some people I know, the reason people have problems with the bead, it's either, well, usually it's too much foam. And what it's doing 
as some may know, some may not know. I spent so many freaking hours. When I got into RC, I didn't know, I wasn't on Facebook, and I didn't know about all the group pages and this and that. Like, for the first year and a half, two years, I wasn't really on those social media sites. So I was, I was looking on YouTube at people's video upgrades and stuff, but, uh, yeah, I was, for the most part, figuring the stuff out by myself. Uh, YouTube was a big inspiration, I'd say. For sure. But, yeah, okay, so we'll put it on a different bead since it's a little softer. I'll show you that it mounts up just as quick. What the problem is, is either, even if you have a soft foam that's too big, like these soft foams that are in here are actually out of these RC four-wheel drive boggers. And I think the soft foam that's in here is out of a smaller tire like this, which is almost a, almost a quarter of an inch shorter than this tire, so the foam's not nearly as, as filling. When you have a filling foam, it's going to push out these beads real wide. And that's the problem that people are having is this bring, bringing the bead into the ring without it popping out real quick. <clears throat> it's more difficult when you have a dual stage foam and your inner foam is a hard foam because if your hard foam is wider than the natural profile of the tire like if you look at this tire right now in my opinion right here it looks like it's pressed out if i take this foam out that's the natural look of the tire like the carcass of the tire you see that's a lot narrower right here it's not bloated out like this because i see some people out on the trail and you know they got tires that are pushed out like this just because the foam inside is so big I, mean, I like the the inner foam trim it down to where it fits the profile of the tire and then leave the outer foam the normal size because it's so soft it's going to eventually squish down anyways but what won't is that inner so yeah let's get back in here put a ring in just the same process like I said uh, with that bogger the foam or the beads a lot harder because the style of the rubber so this will sit in a lot easier check both sides make sure the beads haven't popped out and then just start the same process put your screws in and do a start pattern squeeze all the way together um, when I put the, this tire together, you didn't see me flip back and forth checking the bead. Some tires you really should do that because with a little bit of turning, um, you can start squeezing one edge of the bead out. Uh, if I have a really difficult tire as I'm doing it, I'll sit there, I'll tighten a little bit, and then I'll just kind of walk around it like this, kind of trying to roll the bead of the tire into the, the gap in between the ring or the outer ring and the inner rings. So, all right, guys. Hope this was uh, useful. The eBay wheels are awesome, man. Uh, yeah, and there's so many options. And for the price of a set of Vanquish, I hate to say, you can get three sets of eBay wheels, and they're quality. I beat on my stuff on a regular. This is the first set of wheels I ever bought from eBay, and I've had them for a couple years, and they've been taken apart more than 30 or 40 times. And still using the original hardware as long as you're not a complete idiot and you don't break something off they last so later guys see you